Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're trying to generate a random number using Liquid and potentially inside Braze, but this will work anywhere that you are using Liquid language. Now, there's no single command to just generate a random number using Liquid, but there's a great workaround using today's date and time that will do this for you quite simply, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, as we often do, we're going to start off with a curly brace and a percentage sign, a percentage sign and a curly brace to let Braze know, or the Liquid know there's some logic coming there. Uh, and we're going to type a sign because we're going to assign uh, our random number to a variable. And we can call that variable whatever we want. So I'm going to call it random number just so that it knows that I want a random number. And as I mentioned, we're going to use today's date and time to do this, to get this random number. Now, to get today's date and time, we type two apostrophes and the word now in the middle. So it says we want the time and date now, right now. So that's constantly changing if you think about all the seconds and milliseconds. Now, when we get that though, it doesn't know how to render that out. It's actually not going to render anything. I'll show you that. So if I put two curly braces, or not render, random number, just to render out whatever's assigned to this variable. If I test that, it just says now, because it just thinks I want to print the word now as a string. So we have to tell it how we want to display the time and date. So we put in the pipe filter. So because we want to filter this time and date to display how we want. So we can put date and a, and a colon to say this is what we want you to do. I'm going to put two apostrophes. In my case, I'm going to put percentage N. And now there's a whole series of these, which I'll show you in a sec, which tells uh, Liquid how to print the time and date out because you can control it to print however you want. If I test that, you're going to, it's a nine digit number. Now what it's done, it's made this fractional seconds, which means it's all the way down to nanoseconds. But what's cool about this is that number is constantly changing because those seconds are just updating super, 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 super quick. So here it is again, completely different number. So we're already getting random numbers straight away, even though it's a nine digit number, which is not super practical, it's already random. Now, just to show you what I was talking about, about converting date and time, um, you can go over to the converters for this and there's lots of different options you can use. You can see here. In our case, we're using percent %n, but say you wanted to print the date as 4th of Sept 2023. If you typed in percentage %e, percentage %b, percentage capital Y into this filter box, just to show you how that works, and I tested that, I get the date written as today's date. Um, now, there's so many ways you can do that, but we need percentage %n because we want these random numbers coming through. Now, that's great and all, but... And we can probably use that number if we wanted to, but that nine digit number is not very practical. So we're going to use um, what's called the modulo filter to pass back just a single digit um, from that whole nine series numbers. I'll show you how that works. So we type in here, put in another pipe filter. We're going to filter it with modulo. It's basically the word module with an O on the end. And here, whatever we number we put here is basically how many random numbers we want it to select from. So I'm going to type five, for instance. How this modulo works is it divides this number into whatever this giant nine digit number here is. And I'll give you an example. Actually, I'll make the example is using six here. So it would be dividing six into this nine digit number. It's giving me back this number. But what modulo does is it only passes back the remainder. So it's, it's only passing back this five. It's not passing back the rest of this number. So how modulo works is it will pass back, uh, in this case where I've got six, any of the first six digits. Now, when I say that, it starts at zero. So if you put in six, it's passing back zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's not passing back the six. That would be the seventh digit. Always starts at zero. And you need to remember that's really important. If I made this, for instance, if I made this five, it's going to pass me back random numbers between zero and four. Zero, one, two, three, four. That's five, five digits. You can make it anything. You can make it 10, you can make it 35, you can make it a thousand probably. So if I test this now, I'm getting three. So it's taken that, it's divided that number in there and given me the remainder of three. And if I test it again, touch wood, one. Test it again, one, because sometimes it will repeat, of course zero see it'll start at zero but i'm not ever expecting to see five but i will expect to see zero to four maybe we should just there you go four there's your four so now we are getting single digit random numbers thanks to this modulo using today's date and time in fractional seconds and you're like okay well that's that's cool and all david but what's some things we could do with this well let's say you want to have random subject lines i mean you could build a lottery simulator i guess at this point but Let's go with a lottery uh, with a <laughs> not with lottery simulator with a random number generator. So we're going to type curly brace percentage sign percentage sign curly brace to say we want some logic in here, and we're going to use if else statements. 
Um, and I talk a little bit about them in my Liquid 101 video if you want to know a bit more about them as well. The link will be up here, probably over here. And I'm going to type if, so if this happens, so if random number, so that's the variable we signed up here, if the random number equals, and to say we want it to exactly equal, we put two equal signs, zero, because we're starting at zero. We want you to write subject line zero. And then we're going to put curly brace percentage sign, percentage sign curly brace, and we're going to write else if, because like else, if this happens instead, we want random, oh, not random. I mean, random is cool. Let's be honest. Random number equals one. We want you to write out subject line one. Now I'm just going to quickly cut and paste some of this. I'll speed this up for the video, I'm sure. Now, just to talk you through what's going on here, basically what's happening is we're going to use the date and time with modulo up to five. So we'll get zero, one, two, three, four. Now I've left random number here to render out so we can actually see what number it picks. If it picks zero, it should write subject line zero. Else if it picks one, it should pick subject line one. Else if it picks two, subject line two, three, four, so on. But then I've also stuck an else in here um, as a fallback. So I'm not expecting it to serve me up any numbers that aren't zero to four, but on the off chance you maybe put the wrong digit in modulo or something goes wrong with your code, it has a fallback subject line. So at least there's something there. Otherwise it would just get confused and not print anything. So if I run this now, fingers crossed, here we go. So number three, we get subject line three. Is that what we expect? If it's three, we get three. And if we run it again, zero, we get subject line zero. As I do two more tests, just for good luck. Two, subject line two. We test that again, one, subject line one. So how cool is that? Now, as I mentioned, there's a fallback here. So let's say I chuck 10 in here. I may just make sure it works. I'll chuck a thousand in. It goes like this. Oh no, I picked 701, which is not in the if else. It's not one, two, three, four. So subject line fallback. So therefore, if you make an error in here, you can also pick that up as well. I'll change that back to five. You don't need this one here to make this work. It will just print your subject lines, for example, here. So how cool is that? With a few lines of code, you can now generate random numbers and choose to do whatever you want with them or use them for subject lines. You can make a lottery simulator, maybe use it to gamify something. And it's quite straightforward. And you can actually take that block of code and you can place it in headings. You could place it in the body. You could place it all over an email. You literally place it anywhere and it will do the same thing. You put it in the drag and drop sections of Braze as well and it will work totally fine. There is a slightly more advanced way to do this, which I'll do up in a follow-up video. It just uses a little less code uh, and is a little more practical, but this will works as i always say perfectly fine you can see what's happening you can add to it very easily so get go out there and make some random numbers and while you're at it click like and subscribe and tick that little bell if you got some value from this video and i'll see you some more liquid videos soon peace out <laughs>